Welcome back, everyone, to my Let's Play of Maldita Castle, Chapter 4, Swamp of Lama uh, Malaventura. Yeah, doesn't get any easier moving forward. At least my time reset after this. Though I did die at the last boss, so it's not like I was actually going to save up a bunch of time. Oh, oh my god. I swear it was controller lag. Come on. There you go. Uh, there's another one of those little secrets in this level. Oh god. That was too quick. The, one of those useless secrets that is just, uh, just for the bragging rights. And you'll find it right here. That's the sword, the Lady of the Lake. There you go. There you go. Whew. Oh my god, I almost fell through there. Let's give me a let's you know, put me in a situation where I have to record a let's play and I'll play this game absolutely horrendously. Come on. I could probably just kind of, like, rush through it, but, you know. Time is no longer of the essence since I keep dying. As long as I don't use a ton of continues, I should be able to get one of the decent endings. And this game does not actually uh, have any continues, or at least they have continues, but no password system, no saving, no nothing. So basically it's the type of game you gotta finish in one sitting. So yes, I did split my Let's Play into multiple videos, but it was pretty much all in the same sitting. Unless... Oh, you know, I get frustrated and throw my controller out the window. So yeah. I could have done that on the first go through. Jeez. Alright. Oh god. Dang it! <laughs> oh, that was not very good. I should probably edit some of this stuff out, but then, you know, I'm getting rid of the authenticity, you know? This game is hard. I'm gonna suffer going through it. I feel that the Let's Play needs to be equally aggravating, you know, if you guys aren't getting frustrated with me. And, you know, I forgot you can't walk over to another turtle. Okay, maybe I should edit some of these. First continue. That is pathetic. I should be ashamed of myself. The kingdom's counting on me. God. Stupid fly. Ugh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Alright, this is it, guys. I have a good feeling about this one. I got a good feeling. So, forward jump, you get that really far off jump, but if you jump first and then press right, you get that non. You don't jump as far. There you go. Come on. This time I won't play suicide. Suicidal. Come to me. Come on. God dang it. There you go. things 
And a shield. I guess the game knows that I keep dying a lot, so might as well give me some extra health. But these are not actually, um... Random. The treasure chests are the same. Across all levels. Oh god, oh god, oh god. There you go. More time, good. And here's the turtle boss. He's actually supposed to be really easy, but, you know, who knows, this level wasn't supposed to be such a turtle. Goes the shield. That's not bad, that's not bad. Alright, alright, alright. I got this. There you go. Like a Ninja Turtles, become a little turtle again. Light your way, sir, hoot. I don't trust this guy. What do I get a random owl all of a sudden? Or a gargoyle? I guess owls don't really have hands, do they? So yeah. You don't see everywhere. Guy with clubs. Food. The club does hurt you on the way back, so... Oh, I should have left that for after. Dang it. Alright. So... I wouldn't have had that hourglass. Oh, man. Ah, uh, Here, I thought I was chewing way too good. Alright. And another tier. Yep, that wasn't supposed to happen. Neither was that. I forget if you keep the uh, tears if you die. All right, there you go. And then a little leap of faith. Let's hope I don't die here. Whew, I could really use some food right now. Oh God. No idea what this uh, thing does, but you need it to go get one of the other secrets. So since I'm not gonna get the great ending, um, if you could, oh, hell, I'm just gonna go show you guys. What's the point? I can't get the great ending, so I can't really brag about all the little secrets I've been found. But you gotta walk all the way back here. I think the crystal ball allows you to see these little Smurf people. I'm gonna run out of time. So right over here. You found the Gamusin people! That's another one of the little secrets. Um, I would hold on to the scythe weapon if I can. If you can, I think there's a treasure chest coming up with uh, weapons. I could be wrong, so we'll see in a few. But the next boss... I recall being a lot easier if you had the scythe. 
Let's see, what's this? Tell me it's food, tell me it's food. Please be food. No, it's the weapon. So the scythe I find is a lot easier, but at one health, odds aren't looking good. Especially with only 27 seconds to go. You fell into my trap! Hmm. That was close. Oh, but that's not it. What's what's this? Oh no! Ancient souls. Okay. The trick is not to die, but they'll come at you in a straight line from where you're standing. So if you play it smart. can actually avoid a lot of issues by just being in a corner and calling your shots. Oh god, oh god. Whew. And you actually have to kill the ghosts to get through. This took forever to figure out with this guy. I know it doesn't seem too bad, and those little ghosts don't seem too bad either, but... Oh god. Oh god, please. Oh my goodness, that was pure luck. there. Forgotten Castile! Yeah, it took me forever to beat this boss for the first time. Uh, it was the first part with all the little ghosts. It was actually a lot tougher than it seemed than this guy. Well, I don't know. Interlude, Mounted Melody. Let's get ourselves an extra life because I'm not doing too hot right now. Alright, come on, come on. Gimme, 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 gimme. All right. Jewelry. Nothing like cockroaches to make level five all that much better. The cursed forest. All right, let's see if I can get through this level. Game does not get easier at all. The last tier is on this level. And you can easily miss it, even if you know where it is. Because the whole level looks the same. Come on, what's that? Alright, let's go get ourselves a weapon. Uh. Sight, sight, sight. No, not the axe. That's like the Castlevania axe where it has an arch. So the axe uh, has an arch, the flail has a wider um, kind of reach, the sword goes across the whole level, and the scythe allows you to have through. doesn't have as great range, but it does give you three projectiles. Oh yeah, that was worth it. 200 points. Woo! Alright, just skip this guy. And, you know, try not to get hit. You can actually get lost in this area because of, uh... Alright, see that cross right here? Yeah, you could have missed that. Bam. That's one of the secrets. What? Where's the tear? Oh wait, 
this wasn't a tier. Oh, there it is. So that's the fifth tier. We can actually get the go to the actual boss, the real boss level now. So I think it's up. Ah, shit. I took the wrong one. Screw it, I already have a fairy. So I have to go down, it seems. There we go. So down. So that guy's gonna explode once hit. Oh god, oh god. Ooh. Or if you get too close to him. And when they explode. Supplies come after you. You know, don't be shy to use the fairy, that's where it's there for. Or, you know, not. I swear, guys, I swear, I actually know how to play this game. Alright, I think you have to go up. I think it's actually up. Despite it looking like you'd have to go down, I'm pretty sure it's up. Please let it be up. No! You do need the key though, so... Ah! Alright, let's do this. But now I don't have my weapon of choice. How come I'm not triggering him this time? Dang it! This doesn't go through. Ah! That was pure luck. Pure luck. Or skills, you know. Because I'm actually pretty decent at this guy game. Just not right now. The key's required to get to the end of the level, so make sure to grab it, or else you have to keep going through the same thing. So... Let's do this again. I'm gonna grab the flail, because this boss is actually kind of easier if you beat him with the flail. Let's see how I'm, what I mean by the... kind of moves up and down, so you get a wider... wider reach when using it. Go down this time, I guess. Ugh. There you go. And the locked door right here. Hey, Mendoza. What are you doing here? That's not Mendoza. He's been taken. See, because of because of the arc, I can actually hit his head pretty easily. Nice, but that's not it. No, this is a lot easier than I remembered it being. Whoa, this used to be a huge, huge tough fight. I, I was sure I was gonna die like a few times here. They will pay for this, I swear. Oh yeah, Mendoza will avenge him. The archer guy, I'm not too sure what his name is. Let's grab some health. You can actually pray at that pentagram, and apparently you lose health, but we're not gonna do it, because you know what? 
We don't have the desire to lose health because we're already struggling here. And we're gonna get our fairy back. And some invulnerability potion. That is going to come in handy. So these bubbles don't actually uh, go away, but they only spawn once. So, take the time to go find them. And you have to get hit here. Oh no! Not by the spike though. But I, we've tried, I've tried so many ways to kind of get past all those areas without getting hit and it just can't seem to get it. Well, that was continue number two, if I'm not uh, missing one in the count. This is going to be a lot harder with the sword. Uh -huh. At least we'll get our fairy friend. Kill this guy just to avoid extra problems that are not necessary. Get our health back. From what I remember, you can't really avoid getting hit by this guy here. So, there you go. And now avoid... You can actually screw yourself out of winning this level if the acid takes... Ugh! The acid can actually destroy the full floor and you're not able to jump through the door. Right? It's happened to me, it can happen to you. God damn it, I wish I had my scythe right now. Um, if you did not get all the five tiers, this is the last level for you. Um, we're gonna see Mora. We're gonna defeat her. She's actually not too difficult. You just kind of have to learn her pattern like most boss fights. Here, come down here, and boss fight. Well, not really a boss fight, but... Uh. There you go. Oh god. Ugh, yeah! So, here you go, little treasures. Health. It's got the scythe. Yes! I don't know if I can do this, but with the fairy, it should be somewhat doable. Now, I forget her pattern, but she jumps around and shoots. She has two forms. Oh god. Why do I keep doing that? But, that's not it. She didn't use her shield that last time. 
Yeah, it's gonna be a lot tougher with the uh, no fairy and my sword, so hopefully I can pull it off. But now I kind of remember. Just kill the snake. That was not bad. The scythe is really useful for this part because of those damn snakes that she spawns. But thankfully, I get full reach with the sword here, so. Just make sure to kill the snakes. Almost seems easier right now, but don't be fooled. Come on. Almost got her. Almost. There you go. All right. All right. This is great. Forgotten Castile. He who turns friends into foes and girls into beasts. Prepare to meet my steel. Bam! I've collected the girl's tears to open up the gates to hell. Alright, well, you know, let's do hell in the next uh, video. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.